Integrated Marketing Communications. Often called IMC, it's a widespread trend in the communication world today. It's all about taking one message and making it spread to wherever it needs to go. Through combining things like advertising, paid promotion like this stuff, No one ever pays me in gum. In public relations, which is spreading your product, organization, company, or brand in a favorable manner through free practices. Things like pitching stories to the media or creating a stir about your message without paying. There's other components, of course, but these are what make up IMC and the two are consistently merging. So, how does it work? Well, I've decided to show you through an IMC campaign I did for one of the most mispronounced words I hear almost every day. My last name. And all this actually happened. First, I looked at what I was promoting. Schieß. Not she's, cheese, or scheiß, which means something else in German, so don't say it. And my favorite mispronunciation of my last name, um... But nope, I am going to get as many people as I can to say she's correctly. My first step was research. I went online and found this little gem. What you want in that? Cheese. But I also found that my name meant shooter. I'm not sure what to do with it, but at least I've analyzed my product to its fullest. Then I went to those I was targeting. I did surveys, focus groups, and interviews, and a whopping 2% could say cheese on their first read. So then I turned to what others had done in the past to make their name sick. Bill I the science guy. Bill I the science guy. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Um... After I analyzed my audience, my product, and where I was going, I was able to get better gauge and awareness of my last name really was. It was time to develop ideas. I knew I wanted big ads, big ads with my name on it, and people talking about my last name, preferably famous people talking about it. I wanted in magazines, newspapers, billboards, on TV, directly mailed, and in the dictionary. Basically, I wanted it everywhere because I wanted everyone to see it and know how to say it. I thought up some big ideas, and of course it was around the word she's. I developed a strategy and started brainstorming. Soon enough, I had some ads ready and some ideas to gain publicity. So I bought ad spaces where I couldn't, soon enough it was everywhere. That billboard I wanted in a magazine, here in this dictionary, and after a few PR skills, even ended up Times Square so that New York City was trying to say she's. Before I knew it, I was making the papers, and I was sending news releases to big names like the LA Times. From this, it seemed that everyone was talking about it. Yeah. But you, but it's very interesting when you go down downtown, and then suddenly you look up and oh, you yeah. see that right. something... It's like, what? Yeah, wait a minute. Where's my pass to heaven? What? Kind of getting into a groove where it's a little easier now. But so like, settle in because your brain sort of goes, wait a minute. So after my huge success, I went back and pulled everyone on the word she's. This time, 100% could say it. And I never had to worry about hearing my name said that wrong way again. All thanks to integrated marketing communications.